It's so good. Hello everyone and welcome back to Angie's Table. Today we're going to be making our third video on ramen recipes. I decided to use japagiri and bulldog today. So in order to elevate japagiri, we decided to make chador japagiri. So it's going to be a slightly elevated, a little bit more savory, and we're also going to add onions to put in a little bit of vegetables to it. But for the bulldog, we're going to be using light bulldog today. But sometimes I can't enjoy bulldog because it's just too spicy. So I decided to mellow it out by adding corn cheese on top and we're gonna broil it in the oven to give it a slightly crispy texture on top. I feel like the bulldog will be a little bit more enjoyable so you combine two popular dishes, corn cheese and bulldog together. So we're gonna start off by making the chador japagiri first. Let's go check out those ingredients. We're gonna cook our noodles first per instructions and I'm just cooking it in a pan to not have so much dishes to do. So we're gonna add the dry vegetable packets along with the noodles and boil all of that together. Growing up, Grace and I had a lot of japagiri and sometimes japagiri can get dry if you don't add enough water. So we were always in a fight about, did I cook it too watery or did I cook it too dry where you still have clumps of that dry powder still stuck onto that noodle. But I think as I grew, I started to like it a little bit more on the watery side than the dry side. And once that's fully cooked, I'm gonna drain that out and leave the noodles set aside in the strainer. And using the same pan, I'm gonna cook our chador in there. Just one serving. If you guys honestly feel like adding a lot, feel free to because this will just be a topping. And then we're gonna take the chador out and leave the oil in there. We're gonna add in our sliced onions and cook that until it becomes fragrant. I don't like my onions too soft without texture. I like it with a bit of a crunch. So I'm gonna make sure that I don't overcook it. Then I'm gonna add in my noodles and also add in dry sauce packets and mix all this around. So I'm actually gonna add a little bit of water. We're pretty much done. Plate it in a bowl and add the chador back on top as a topping. And now I'm just gonna add a little bit of sesame oil all over the top. Okay, let's try this. Mmm. Yeah, mm. Yeah. That elevates chapagiri for sure. Yeah, I like the onions in it. The onions? Onions. Grace says onions weird. Mmm. Can you show them a good spoonful of it? Or like a chakara? Dang. That looks so good. Mmm. Chapagiri, the um, amount that's in there, it's like a tease because I feel like more than ramen with japagiri, it feels like one isn't enough. Like I think I can eat two. Ramen, I probably cannot eat two, but japagiri, I can. Probably because we don't have the soup with it, it's just noodles. I feel like two is too much, but one is too little. Yeah. You know what we should have done with this too? A fried egg. Mm. I feel like this is good because even if you just use one, because you have other stuff added into it, mm. satisfying than just eating like one japagiri. Mm. Yeah, Hasa Naunjasanda has made chapagiri really popular because she uh, added truffle oil oh. to the chapagiri, and I think the scent of it was really, really good. I forget what else she did with it. it. Made that go viral in Korea. Just so I don't forget. So today's word of the day is 
Do you have a word? <laughs> Today's word of the I'm looking around. Oh, good. Journey for the day is 설거지, which means washing dishes. I'm also the type. In the middle of cooking, I have to be washing dishes. I hate seeing anything pile up. It just drives me nuts. Dishes especially. Even if I drink a cup of coffee, I have to wash that cup right away. I don't wait till half the day or after lunch for it to pile a little bit. Uh-uh. Like, right now, right then and there. I don't like seeing anything in my sink. The thought of food or crumbs just sitting in there with water and like growing bacteria, it like creeps me out. I have to do it right away and it needs to be down the drain. No, not on the surface of my sink, no way. I'm like constantly washing dishes. But anyways, today's word of the day is 설거지, which means washing dishes. Washing dishes. <laughs> and now we will go on to making our corn cheese full duck. Let's go. Let's boil the noodles. Drain the water out of the noodles. I left a little bit of water in there. Then we're gonna mix it with the Prudak sauce. Oh my gosh, sauce of death. I'm gonna leave this all in a casserole dish because I'm gonna stick everything in the oven once you make the corn cheese. And now onto the corn cheese. One teaspoon sugar a pinch of salt, and a pinch of black pepper. If you guys have QP mayo, I would suggest to use that. It'll taste better. A fourth cup of mozzarella cheese, and we're just gonna add this to the top, kind of like a lasagna. We're gonna broil it in the oven for about five minutes or it becomes slightly golden brown. I'm gonna sprinkle the toppings on the top. This looks amazing. Let's give this a try. Do you want me to give you a scoop? Oh, uh, you're just I'll gonna come, come here? to the side. I'm excited for this one. But I need some corn on this, I think. Oh. Wow. Mmm! So much better than just Prudak. Grace. Well, I like this one. This is so good. And Prudak. It doesn't make it as spicy. Like, it makes it actually enjoyable. Mmm, it smells amazing. It's so good. Wow. I need you to try it, like ASAP. Mmm. Okay. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. It's so good. Wow. That's so good. Right? Yeah. It's like unbelievable. It's so what? good. What the heck? It makes it taste like a you know how we made Prusak lasagna last time? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It makes it taste like that, but oh, spicy. more like noodles. No, but I feel like it's not that spicy anymore. It's so good. good. The flavor, I think because it's creamy, it balances out the, the like... A super spicy, yeah. like, unacceptable amount of spice and kind of feel. it's weird because like, Prusak tastes very artificial. But I feel like it almost masks the artificialness. Look, I feel like Does we can sense? actually have this out as a... Like, uh, oh, you know what this would be good what? for? Anju. Mmm. Koreans like to pair food and drinks together. So this would be really good with like mikju, like beer. Yeah, wait, I really like this. Wow. This is something that's worth going viral. Mm -hmm. Of all the ramen recipes that I've seen on TikTok. This, this was is the best ramen yeah. recipe Ever. I really hope everyone gets to um, try this out and make it go viral because it's so good. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Please try this out. We'll see you guys on our next video.